Hey guys, it's Mana, and I'm going to be singing Someone Like You. Yeah, I think one of the, the toughest calls we have to make at the Fifth Estate is how far do we go in to probe somebody's private agony when you've got a figure who's being thrust into the public spotlight. And, and that was certainly the case when we took on the story of Amanda Todd. I mean, here was someone who became a public figure because she was known for being cyberbullied. She made this video that went viral. Millions of people watched it, and she would take her life when she was just 15 years old. But we wanted to know really more than that. We wanted to know who was the person. What, what was she like? What was she thinking? What was she going through in, in that time of her life? What changed things for us is that her parents gave us two of her laptop computers and we managed to have them unlocked. And what came out would be so many chats, videos, things that were embedded in the hard drive. So what we have here is details of her private life that even her mother and father had never seen before, that the police who'd been investigating had never seen before, that her closest friends had never seen before. And here we have this in our possession. And we want to use these details to be able to, you know, in essence, bring Amanda back to life, to tell her what it was like for her in those, those last few months of her life, what she was struggling with, um, and some of the challenges she had. I never got the chance to go out of my house and be a real, normal person. Instead, now all I do is hide. I'm always scared of what's going to happen. So we had to find that line between what was critical to our storytelling and what was better left really in the hands of her family. I mean, it was a real struggle for us, and I can relate to this as a parent, about how much private details do you want laid out in the public? And is it relevant? We were able to piece together the profile of her cyber stalker the profile essentially of the person who drove her to her death. You still think you're dealing with an amateur? You have until the end of the day before all hell breaks loose. You know, I developed this relationship with Amanda's mother, Carol. And Carol was always eager to know, what are you finding out about my daughter? We'd be, we'd be sharing these secrets. I mean, I'm telling a mom about her own daughter and what her daughter was struggling with. We were able to, to uncover this one section of dialogue that she was going back and forth with her stalker, where she had just said essentially, enough, I'm gonna stand up, I'm not gonna be pushed around, I'm not gonna be bullied anymore. Not gonna happen. Do you wanna meet me? Come meet me right now, or are you too scared? I was able to share it with her mother, I was able to see her mother's pride in a different way that she was able to see her own daughter, and I think really wanted to remember her own daughter, less as a victim and more as someone who stood up for herself when she really needed.